Hello fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about G.I. Joe Classified Series Clutch with Vamp. Now this was a release from Hasbro Pulse. So if we take a look at the box here, we have the Vamp, we have Clutch, and we have a little extra here. The Cobra Vang with a driver. So the box itself is coming in at 17 and a half inches long. 11 inches tall and come in right at five and a quarter inches thick. So if we look at the side, we just see clutch and his number. On the back, we have all the accessories that the clutch comes with. Detail shot of clutches, tattoos, some detailed shots of the uh, vamp itself. And on this side, we get a nice picture of Clutch. So if I bring out my scale. And I turn it on. We'll see that this is coming in right at four pounds 1.6 ounces so let's take them out of the box and off of the scale okay now that we got it out of the box this thing has a lot of accessories as you can see now it comes with this little gi joe backing here which is very nice but i don't ever see myself using that on the shelf but I do like the fact that they included it. Okay, now that we have it out of the box, we can take a closer look at the accessories. It comes with four wheels. Wheels are nicely detailed. Definitely cool wheels in the hubcap. Basically cover everything. It's nice, solid. You have to put them on yourself saved on the packaging now let's take a look at some of these accessories here we have this axe the red tip this accessory we have this accessory we have some lights we've got two sets of them we got his shovel a shotgun very very nice very very cool comes with machine gun ammo boxes with the feeds two gas cans extra helmet for clutch so if you have like a grunt you could put the, this helmet on the grunt which would be cool Oh, we got an extra set of lights. So that's three sets. And we got these passenger side oh crap handles. Fire extinguisher. The wrench, crescent wrench. A pistol for clutch. This 50 cal. which has a base here that basically moves it around up and down. See on the back here. Now let's see something. They do come off. So you could have roadblock, grab one, or rock and roll, grab one. And oh yes. Oh, so nice. So we take it and just put it right back on. That is a nice touch. Cool beans. And now we look at Clutch himself. Clutch comes with this helmet. Reminiscent of the old one. His helmet could come off. 
Now it comes with these tattoos here. So it's detailed on the box. And he has this tattoo also. Grab a stand for this guy. Get him standing up real quick. Now, I like the fact that they gave him a couple of accessories. But the one thing I want to point out is this flashlight here. Having been in the military and actually been a mechanic, this type of lightweight vehicle mechanic would not have that kind of light it would have the old army light here so this should have been that Erg. okay anyway i know this is fantasy land but you know it's little attention to details like that that uh, really set it off and and touched it because i do remember some of the figures in the past would have had that light instead of this one. So, if we want to stand him up here, get his height measurement, we see that clutch is coming in at the normal G.I. Joe six and a half inch. So, with other Marvel Legends figures, he fits in nicely. But, there you go. So, Let's go ahead and get the vamp accessorized. Okay, now that we have it accessorized, we'll take a look at the figures separately from the Jeep. But yeah, it's nice. You got a little bouncy motion in this. I don't ever really see that we'll need that kind of uh, movement but hey it's always nice to have now as we look at the front here we have the kc lights we have an actual working winch because that is cool right you can wind it back up the only problem is though we have these kc lights here that will definitely get in the way now we also here on the side have these hooks here for towing so it's good that they included that level of detail they do actually pull out on the hood itself we have the shovel we have this pack they just simply go on these pegs here this part here the breather kit that we had earlier just simply attaches on there good look at the hood and the engine underneath that is definitely a beefy engine So as we come to the side here, very nice tension to details. Hey, we have the old crap handles here. And the window, I want to point out, can be pushed down. So you can get to the figures or they can get out if they need to be. Now these lights up here, KC's, nice touch, you know. Um, definitely more modernized than the old Humvees or the old um, Silverado trucks they had. Now you do have the machine guns here with their ammo clips. You can put them nicely in here. Have them all hooked up. And like I say, you can take these out of the area. What we're going to do is pop that off. So you can see that this is where the actual fire extinguisher goes. We have the axe here, simply attaches via the hooks, the gas cans. We have a trailer hook, which is nice. That might be things to come if they ever get off their butts. So if on the other side, we still have the same, oh crap, handles, the seats. So as we look at the instrument panel here, we'll see a little bit of detail in that. Zoom in a little bit. It's kind of nice, right? 
to have all these flashing lights on a military vehicle. Hey, you know. This was the Joe era. Now the steering wheel can turn. As steering wheel should. We have... an actual working drive shift. See, it goes forward and back. So yeah, it's a little bit more closer look at that dash panel. More up-to-date version. So let's we pull back a little bit. Get the vamp back up here. Now the figures can sit down, which is always nice, and they look pretty good in it. The only thing I do not like is these here. They do come out ever so often. You can try to get them in there just right, but hey, it uh, is what it is. And you can just clip it on the back. Now, as far as the bottom goes, you can see it's just a simple looking car, but they did put some detail in here. So it's nice. They have the drivetrain, a couple of the letterings for the Hasbro. Tells you what it is, different thing. Now, these wheels, they just clip on. And it's nice. Um, do have a little bit of play in them. So it is cool. Now these gas cans will flip out. Just like the old version, you'll probably be the first thing you lose if you take it out for a big old spin. Now what I was saying earlier about taking Roadblock, taking this hideous weapon that he came with, And giving them this weapon here. Now the only problem I have with it is the, the actual clip. So you'll probably need something to, to take its place. But robot can just simply grab on it. And definitely looks better than that old thing he had. So yeah, definitely an improvement there. Oop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load this up with some figures so you can see a little bit of what I was talking about earlier. Okay, so you can see um, what I was envisioning earlier. So here we have Roadblock with that weapon and the, the bullets, the, the machine gun bullets were going in there and there's a the little pack. That I was talking about he's hanging precariously on the back not really any place for him to really stand or sit here we have a clutch with the helmet on for of clutch um, I like it on clutch um, so he might actually get this helmet back you know it's nice that he does have that helmet he has and so we can see clutch here and the driver's seat actually grabbing the shifter and driving around. So it's a very nice touch, very nice um, piece of equipment for your Joes. I could definitely see this being good playtime back in the day if we had this kind of vehicle. So the only thing I'm seeing about these KC lights, they do pop off. Um, they do not really stay on there tight, nice and tight. Um, I guess over time it will a um, bit better during plasmosis, but um, definitely right now they keep popping off and falling off. So let's get Clutch back out and we'll see how he looks. Okay, let's get a little closer look at Clutch. That face sculpt, the detail in the figure itself. 
we can see he's in here now he has his wrench on still not liking that yellow light there's a room for a backpack nice hole standard articulation arms move around bicep swivel double bend in the elbow wrist rotation on a peg head can really look up down right and left we have a little bit of an am crunch going forward side to side split has the thigh rotation here double bend in the knee ankle boot swivel ankles move on a peg hinge goes forward and backwards has the hollowed out tread so let's get a look at a couple other features real quick one thing i wanted to mention i actually found a use for his helmet so i will give clutch this helmet but it always bothered me that roadblock never had a real helmet himself so i gave him clutch's helmet so he can now hold this hideous weapon that he has so yeah there we so go. here we have the vamp next to the two bikes that have been released so far um we have duke on the tiger force um which is basically just a repeat of the prior released bike um yeah they they fit pretty nicely together i could definitely see them traveling on the battlefield and it is nice that we finally get a vehicle for gi joe other than bikes so it is very very nice so if we look at the rest of the battlefield we see the hiss there and a couple of scrap irons you know you know in the back we have the gi joe transformer bumblebee i have my pods all fired up the trouble bubbles and a couple of the Hiss team standing underneath them with you know the Hiss fire team firing out. A couple of them, we have Sepentor there and a bunch of garbage in the back. I still setting that up. Every time you get a new figure, you gotta m maneuver the current collection, right? So yeah, it's cool. Um getting these set up. I see Duke's weapon firing came out so one thing i did want to point out is speaking of these you can use them inside your actual turret so if you have any extra that you want you can either you know try to do it one-handed like i've been doing it or try to fit them in there and see if they work so let's see so yes they will work so at least there's proof that it will work. <laughs> All right. So remember, like, subscribe, shop around, and keep.